Today on Nerd Out, Drip Drops Instant Rewards API. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about the Drip Drops Instant Rewards API that was just released. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. We've got a a long show today and uh, maybe a special guest later. So let's get into it. So what is Drip Drops Instant Rewards? So before today, Drip Drops was used for projects to get wide distribution of their token. Uh, it was always the project themselves that released the tokens. We deliver unmatched delivery, transaction building, and speed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the, all the features you know and love about Drip Drops. How Drip Drops is changing is now anyone can choose to distribute tokens through Drip Drops. So if you have a community, if you have a game, if you have, uh, if you're a stake pool operator and you want to reward your delegators specially, you can do all of that through the Drip Drops simple REST API. All of this is powered by the Drip token. So we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how it works. It's over here on the left. Once you log into Drip Drops, you do have to be logged into an account. And you'll see all these tabs at the top. We've got token buckets, API keys, manual import, billing, and help. So you can start out at help if you want to jump right into what the API looks like. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with creating a token bucket. So you can distribute any token that already exists and has been validated by the Drip Drops team. Now we're going to be validating additional tokens that have never uh, dropped through us before, but for right now the list is just those tokens that at one time or another, either currently or in the past, have been listed on Drip Drops. Uh, they can be distributed through Drip, drip Drops. So I'm going to select the drip token here, and I'm going to call the bucket name my drip rewards, and I'll create that token bucket. And then you'll see I've got uh, the token bucket info, and it gives me an address here, and that's where I send the tokens that I want to blast out, and I have to send those drip tokens there. And so now you see I've done that, and it gives me shows me that my token balance is now 1,000 drip tokens. I still have zero unclaimed rewards. The campaign is active. And so next I move over to creating an API key. And I just select the token bucket for that particular API key and give it a name. And I'm just calling this one reward myself API key for the purposes of the demo. And once that's created, you'll get a app ID and you'll get an access token, and those you'll need to call the API. There's also some additional configuration you can do around protecting this bucket. So this is in case, you know, for whatever reason, your access token and app ID leaks, which ideally you should be keeping this secure. Um, there are some parameters you can update. So you can set a maximum rewards per address so somebody can't come in, use your API key, and drain the bucket. Uh, you can also set max rewards per API call if you want to. So that would be a different level per API call. You can also set um, limits for different periods. So if you want to set um, you know, only so many tokens can go out per day type of thing. You can do that as well. And you can also whitelist IPs for the, for the people pulling the token if you know exactly where in the world they're supposed to be coming from. So I've set some uh, sane defaults for my API. So I'm saying the most per address is 1,000 drip tokens. Again, you never put, put the decimal places in here. You just write the zeros and the max rewards per API call I've set is 2,000, so I could do one API call that rewards two addresses, 1,000 drip tokens each if I wanted to, um, or I could call the API twice. Um, that would be a little more expensive to do it that way, but I could call that twice in one day. Once I call it a third time, it won't let me add any more rewards. So those are kind of the, the controls you get with the system. And so then I head over to the API and I'm going to do this curl command 
to hit the API with my access token, etc. And I'm going to say I give myself uh, some instant rewards. And I get an error. It says insufficient API credit. So I forgot a step. Let's go back. We forgot to get API credits. So we go over to the billing tab. And we say I want 100 API credits. Those that are going to cost me 500 drip tokens. And with those, I can reward approximately 10,000 different Cardano addresses. So as you see, it's, it's very reasonable. It's designed for scale. So if somebody is building a game and they want to blast rewards like crazy to their users, they can do that very inexpensively. And so once our payment is complete, we now run the command again and we see success. And those rewards are issued and they can now be pulled through the drip drop system. And you see that I now have one API credit used and my balance is now 99. So that one API call cost me one credit. Um, now, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with doing uh, API calls, we do have an easy mode. And this is where you just simply have to upload a CSV file. So if you go over to the manual import tab, there's a lot of information about how to create. Um, you can download the CSV template. Just fill it in. It's basically going to be like address, amount, reason, start date, end date type stuff. And then you just upload that file and then those rewards are, are active after you've created the bucket. So let's say you are you have maybe some vesting schedule for people with tokens. You can just fill all that information in the spreadsheet, upload it, and Bob's your uncle. So that's kind of how the easy mode works. Now that we've talked about easy mode we want to talk about God mode. So here's where I'm gonna bring in a special guest. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the newly coronated CTO at Drip Drops, Mr. Adam Dean. And uh, Adam, take us away with the SPO demo. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Uh, and thanks for having me on this morning. Uh, so uh, I was really excited uh, when we came up with this instant rewards feature. And the first thing that I thought of was uh, that this would be an awesome way for stake pool operators that want to reward their delegators uh, to issue tokens uh, to all of their delegators. Uh, and so we needed a, an easy way to do that, uh, something that could hopefully integrate with uh, tools like CN Tools and the great library uh, from our friend Martin Lang, uh, his stake pool operator strips. Uh, so I've made a quick, easy uh, bash shell script uh, library uh, that's going to make that easy. Uh, and we're going to actually walk through uh, a little bit of an end-to-end -end demo here. Uh, so in my first document here, uh, I, let me share my screen uh, so you can actually see what I'm doing. So we're going to switch to entire screen here. And so you'll see I've already set up my nerd out rewards uh, bucket uh, here on our drip drop staging uh, pre-production website. I've got my API credit balance already uh, and I have my API key ready to go. So first things first, I need to get my server set up to accommodate um, to have the scripts installed. So I'm going to be actually doing a git sparse checkout here. And so I'm going to run those commands real quick in my terminal. And now I'm already in my rewards folder. All of my scripts are set up. And the first thing we want to do is set up uh, the script to use our API key. So I'm going to run this setup.shell script. Uh, it's going to ask me if I've already set up my token bucket, which I have. So it's going to ask me for my app ID. I'm going to get that copied here. It's going to ask me for my access token. And now it's going to ask me if I want to configure a default stake pool to issue rewards to. So I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to enter the pool ID. I can enter the pool ID as BEC32 or HEX. Uh, and this pool in question is Blade Pool on pre-production. So shout out to our friend Conrad there. 
Uh, and it's going to ask me for a ticker, a kind of a user-friendly ticker identifier for the stake pool. So I'm going to enter blade in there. Oh, or blad. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is on pre-production. So that's our default option of zero. Now I'm going to confirm that all the options look good and say yes. All right, so that's uh, created a, an environment variable uh, for us on the server. But now we need to establish what kind of rewards are we going to give out to our delegators. And for that, we're going to run this manage strategy uh, shell script. Uh, and what we want to do here is create a new strategy. And I've got some options down here below that uh, you might not be able to see on your screen, but uh, it's going to be a flat rate strategy. So we're going to issue one test strip per eligible wallet. Um, so I'm going to choose flat rate. And I'm going to enter one million because drip has six decimal places. So again, I'm always using the base unit here. Uh, and so the minimum amount that each address should receive. So I want every address to always receive at least one drip token. So I'm gonna again enter 1 million here. Uh, now it's gonna ask me what is the maximum amount of tokens that any address should receive. I'm gonna say the max I wanna give to any one delegator is gonna be 100 uh, drip tokens. So that's 100 and then a million. Uh, now, what is the minimum amount of Lovelace an address must delegate? I'm going to say five test Lovelace, test data. So again, that's five million because we're specifying in Lovelace. Uh, and what is the minimum number of epochs an address must delegate to this pool in order to re receive rewards? So I'm going to say zero because I want everybody, even the newest delegators to the pool, to receive rewards. But you can set that depending on the strategy that makes sense for you. Uh, and now finally, I'm, I'm going to be asked, uh, what is a bonus modifier I want to apply for each additional epoch that a delegator has been staked? So in my case, I'm going to say 1.1, 1 .1, uh, which is actually going to increase rewards by 10% for each epoch that delegator has been staked to a stake pool up to the maximum of 100 T-drip uh, for people that maybe have been delegated for a really long time. Uh, now, again, it's going to... Uh, show me the summary of the strategy that I have. Uh, then it's gonna show me a couple of examples. Uh, so what would a delegator with 100 ADA who's been with the stake pool for 10 epochs receive? Um, so we can see that uh, this guy is gonna get, looks like 25 drip. Uh, this guy is gonna get, oops, sorry, that's 2.5 drip for the first one. 21.1 for the second delegator who has 1,000 ADA, but he's been with my stake pool for 32 epochs. Uh, and then somebody that's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ADA uh, and 99 epochs worth of loyalty is going to get the uh, max amount of, of rewards, which is 100 test drip tokens because they obviously go far beyond uh, the level uh, set up. So I want to go ahead and save this strategy uh, and we're going to call it blade. And that's going to say it's saved to the strategies folder as a blade.strategy file. So now I can quit out of this script and we should be all set up. So if we list our strategies, we can see that we have our blade strategy and a default example of how to set up these files. And now all I have to do is run rewardstakers.shell and we should be good to go. I'm going to tell it to use that strategy file. So I'm going to say strategy equals blade. And so what that did, that used my API key to query the drip drops API, find 257 delegators to the blade pool for epoch 111. Uh, and it saved that snapshot details uh, to a folder that got created for, so snapshots, pool ID, pool epoch number, dot snapshot, dot JSON. Uh, now again, it's gonna show us all the rules of our strategy that's being applied. And uh, by default, we can send up to 100 addresses in a single API call. So uh, it's broken those 257 down based on the rules applied and said, we're going to need to send two API requests. So that's going to be two credits that this is going to cost us. Um, and it's going to perform a dry run by default. Uh, so what that's good for is we can see, OK, how much total 
tokens did we award uh, and how many total addresses did we reward? So we we're going to send rewards to 192 different addresses uh, for this huge, weird number of, uh, of key drip. Uh, and I can actually uh, examine that JSON file uh, just to see what those rewards are going to look like in case I want to double check that my strategy is right uh, and everything looks good. So I can go through here and see all the different delegators and what amount of key drip they're going to receive. Uh, once I'm satisfied with that, I can run my script again and just say dry run zero, and that's going to switch us into live mode. And there we go. We have two successful API calls. And when we switch back over to drip drops, I can check my drops. And this is my address, which is delegated to uh, blade stake pool. And here on my T drip, I can actually click history and see that I got instant pool reward from blade for epoch 111 for 100, uh, 100 T drip. So it's right there, it's instantly available and it's good to go. I can run this once an epoch, I could run this daily, uh, but the snapshots will be saved and cached locally on your machine. Uh, and you might call it God mode, I call it easy mode for SPOs. And with that, uh, you know, y'all take care and nerd out.